And welcome back. You know, for every 1,000 women who get a mammogram, 100 are recalled to get more images. 20 are recommended for a needle biopsy, and five are diagnosed with breast cancer. And today we're discussing the importance of mammography, especially for those women with one or more of the risk factors, which we'll talk about. And Dr. Brian Burke from Imaging Specialist of Charleston joins us with some important information. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Good morning. And, and kind of clarifying things, you know, for us, because especially during the month of October, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and you hear many saying, okay, you have to get your mammogram. You really need to get your mammogram. But exactly what is a mammogram? We know it's a breast exam, but what's involved? Right, so basically a, a mammogram is a, a, a dedicated x-ray used mm -hmm. to image the breast. We typically, for a screening study, will do two, uh, excuse me, two views of each breast, sometimes mm -hmm. three. They're done at different angles so we can see all the parts of the breast. Yeah. Um, at Imaging Specialists, we use digital mammography what, with yeah. special software, computer-aided mm -hmm. diagnosis software that helps us find cancers that could be hidden. Okay. So when a radiologist reads the x-rays or the mammograms, yeah. um, they look for the cancers, then they look at the computer overlays to see if there could be spots that were missing. And computer overlay is what exactly? That's so that is um, it's special software that basically looks for um, calcifications, which are mm -hmm. potentially one sign of cancer, okay. um, what we call architectural distortion, where the breast looks like it's being tethered, mm -hmm. or where there could be masses. So it circles areas that we might miss. Okay. So therefore, we look at the mammograms, then we look at the, the circled areas to see, is that something suspicious in case we miss something? Mm -hmm. um, and imaging specialists, we actually, same day, go and talk to the patients, let them know the results of their mammograms. It's mm -hmm. a bit unique. Normally, screening mammograms are read in batches, so the woman goes home, doesn't know for a day or two whether or not the results are positive. Um, that she needs to come back for additional imaging or mm -hmm. negative that everything looks good. So we actually, uh, the radiologist reads the films, goes and talks to the patient, lets her know that yeah. either one, the study looks good, mm -hmm. or two, if she needs additional workup, we'll perform that the majority of the time the same day. Okay. So she can go home knowing the results. Now it's true I'm seeing where with a mammogram you can sometimes detect uh, breast cancer or possibly breast cancer could develop up to two years before a doctor or even the patient their self can detect it. Is that true? Exactly. So mm -hmm. mammograms, um, it's not a perfect test, but it's the best test that we have for the majority of women to find breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, as you said, we can find cancers well before they're palpable often. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea is if we can find a cancer that's early, yeah. not just can we potentially save the patient's life, uh, but we can hopefully uh, uh, prevent a mastectomy mm -hmm. and have a lesser, less invasive surgery and better outcomes. Early detection is key, folks. Now, what is the I Got Check programming that you guys have in place at Imaging Specialists? Right, so the I Got Check program is sort of similar to an I Voted. Tomorrow's voting oh, day, I mean, you'll see yeah. a lot of people with stickers that say that I, I Voted, voted? Yeah. or an American flag. Yeah. Um, so similar to that, we have a sticker that says I Got Checked, and the idea is to be a visual reminder mm -hmm. if the woman wears on her clothes that day that if other women see it, they can ask, why are you wearing that sticker? And that if they've not had their annual mammogram, it's, it's a reminder whether they come to us at Imaging Specialists or go to their mm -hmm. own center where they've been mm -hmm. going before, a reminder for them to get their mammogram. Okay, so we have about a minute left now. So let's remind folks of some of the risk factors according to the American Cancer Society. And this would be some reasons why they would probably want to get a mammogram. Exactly. Done. So um, the most common risk factors that we talk about and mm -hmm. think about, uh, about is family history. Yeah, of course. Um, we think about uh, first degree relatives, so mom or sister or daughter with mm -hmm. breast cancer conveys a very high risk, especially if they got it at a young age, less than 50. Okay. There are certain cancer genes that get talked about a lot. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of women and men have heard about BRCA1 and yes. BRCA2. Yes. Um, that can have uh, up to or greater than a 50% lifetime risk of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Women that have had breast cancer have a risk uh, not just of recurrence but cancer elsewhere. Um, as women get older, the risk of breast mm -hmm. cancer increases. Okay. Um, I, as important as risk factors are, I do think it's important to mention though that the majority of women uh, who get breast cancer have no family history of it. Mm -hmm. Greater than 80 percent will be the first one in their family that has breast cancer. I so it's risk. important for every woman uh, to get uh, breast cancer screening. All right, Dr. Burke, so how would folks schedule an appointment with imaging specialists to get their mammogram? Right? So we have our, um, our general scheduling number should pop up on the screen, but if there you call is. imaging mm -hmm. specialists um, and just say that, that you're requesting a mammogram in South Carolina, you don't need a doctor's referral. We like okay. to have a doctor's name. Okay. You don't need a referral, but um, normally we can get a patient in either that day or within a couple days. All right, Dr. Burke, thank you so much. And of course, you can go to the website, imagingsc.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. All righty. More after the break. Stay with us.